Hi, Red-Headed Riding Hood here, red for short. It snowed today. Again, it's April 27th, and I'm going to read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration. And I'm going to try a new thing. I'm going to... Um, Look, it's Nemo. <laughs> um, I'm going to post these every day at 7 and 7 p.m. That's mountain time. So it's it'll be 8 p.m. Um, Central time. It will be 6 p.m. Pacific time. It will be 9 p.m. Kind of late on the East Coast. But I'm going to post them at 7 p.m. I'm going to probably do them as a um, premiere. So that means you can chat in the chat while, while the video is playing. And um, so I'm going to try that out and see how it goes. And <clears throat> let me read you this. It's called Shut Up. <laughs> but it's not that kind of be quiet, shut up, but like shut, closed off, you know, shut up that way. <laughs> no man can love God without loving his fellow men. If he says he does, then he does not know what loving God means. That is why the social gospel is never an addendum to Christianity, but always the very center of Christianity. Once Henry Scott Holland, he always mentions these people, I don't know who they are, said, um, but you can Google them. The more you are interested in the incarnation, the more you must be concerned about drains. <laughs> How about water drains, right? If you believe that God was sufficiently concerned with humanity to take humanity upon himself, then you must also believe that God is concerned that men and women should have decent conditions to live in. Bishop Weston of Zanzibar said at the Anglo-Catholic Congress in 1923, it is folly, it is madness to suppose that we can worship Jesus in the sacrament when you are sweating him in the bodies and souls of his children. It is blindness to think that we can meet Christ in the sacrament if we comfortably forget that, that he said that we do what we do and do not do to our fellow men is done and not done to him. The least of these that's right here is something that stuttered kennedy himself saw with vivid intensity he said no time for those he had no time for those whose religion constituted in making their communion and in long prayers and so forth and so on it was in the fact that therein he saw the failure of the church we have been calling men to services he said when what they they wanted was the call to service in his book, The Word and the Work, he said, nobody worries about Christ as long as he can be kept shut up in churches. He is quite safe there, but there is always trouble if you try and let him out. Was there ever a time when Jesus Christ was more thoroughly shut up in the church than he is today? That's the end. And this is copyright, again, 1971. William Barclay was born in 1907, and he passed in 1978. But you can Google him, too, if you'd like. He was a Scottish theologian. Don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.